Today we're going to talk about carrying... Well, who, who are you? You gotta pull a... Hi! <laughs> Hey guys, Chad here, Steel, and welcome to Rotor Riot. Today we're going to talk about carrying all this stuff here on a commercial airliner. One of the many asked questions that we've been asked by our viewers is how do you carry this safely and by following the rules on an aircraft? So, so the airline itself, once again, has some basic rules to follow. They're pretty simple. The batteries that we use for mini quads, we can pretty much carry as many as we want. But what we do need to do is tape up the terminals. We also need to put the batteries in individual packaging. And it's also highly recommended to put the batteries in a LiPo safe bag. Uh, the mini quads themselves are perfectly fine, but there are certain tools like this that you shouldn't be carrying on there. Exacto blades. Knives, anything that yeah. can be, that looks like it can be used as a weapon. So the basic rule of thumb is if you're in doubt, check it. Unless you're, you're willing to lose it. Hey, Chad. Yes. Show me your bag. You mean this one right here? Yep. Cool. What you got there? Yeah, make some space. This is my flying bag and what I use when, when I go out flying. The only real difference with what I've got here, this is my case which is normally inside. I would just go ahead and check that because I'm always carrying check luggage anyway. So, better to be safe than sorry. Outside the bag is no different. I still keep my quadcopter on the outside of the bag. The only thing that I would do is I would take my props off and put them inside the bag. Once we get into the bag, it's all very rather similar. There are going to be a lot of people that are going to ask what kind of bag this is. Talked about it on a couple forums before, but this is an REI, like Recreational Equipment Incorporated. And this bag is the Trail 25. I really like the form factor of it, and I also liked how it had some straps that you could strap on the outside. And it keeps you to packing light. Because if you have a big bag, you tend to want to fill it up with a bunch of stuff. And this is just the bare essentials of what you need to go out and fly and have a good day. So, REI, call me. Right, so inside here we've got... Some props. Props are not going to cause you any dramas. Inside we have my transmitter and goggles. And what I have gone ahead and done is I've removed the battery from the transmitter and the goggles. Uh, and I've put them in my LiPo bag so it's all in one spot. And lastly we have the LiPo bag here. I personally don't use a LiPo bag and I've never had a, a problem with it. With the amount of LiPos that I carry it would be very impractical. I still would recommend that if you want to do the things the right way that you carry uh, your things in a lipo bag, but this is not a problem for me. And this is a lunchbox, basically. These are just soft lunch boxes. So of course, like we said, you can tape up, but these are the rules and regulations. I've got not only my flight batteries, I've got my, my camera battery in there. I've got my goggle batteries in there, GoPro batteries in there as well. And they're all in one box. The reason why it's in one box is when you do get to TSA or security checkpoint, it's probably a worthwhile, a good idea. And this was actually Steel actually first started doing this. When you get to the x-ray machine, pull this out and put this in its separately. own bin. In its, its own, own, its own bin. little bin. Don't put it with your shoes, because if you put it with your shoes, your shoes are going to get confiscated. <laughs> and then you're going to be walking around in your socks getting all dirty. So take what you think is going to get observed more closely and put it all into one box and more than likely your batteries are going to get checked so we I actually put my batteries in the back of the line so I can get all my stuff first and then my batteries go get checked and then yeah then you have all of the things that you pretty much need except the battery box that's one thing you can pretty much guarantee when you're carrying something like this you are going to get pulled aside you're gonna get checked so they're gonna they're gonna swab this bag for uh, bomb materials and all this stuff because let's be honest it looks a little bit strange yeah, and, and it it's going to get their attention so they're going to check it but there's no need to worry about it because it's it, you're not actually breaking any of the rules or regulations they're just they're just being observant uh and and following their protocols so when you go online and investigate your airline it's worthwhile to get their 
regulations on LiPo batteries and actually print it out and actually have it in the side pocket of the battery. So that way, if there is a problem and, the, and, and they don't agree with what you're doing, you can pull the documentation out and say, here, I can, I can take it on board. I've only ever had to do that once in a, uh, when I first started flying on aircraft, and all this is becoming a lot more familiar amongst the airlines now. But if you have that bit of information there, it can probably make things happen a lot quicker. And if you're running late for your airline, then every little uh, minute that you can save certainly counts. Don't be a d uh, These guys are just doing their jobs, and if you're polite with them, stand your ground polite, you're, it, it's not a problem. I really have not had a problem with I don't know if you've had a problem with them at all, Steel. No, but you need to definitely say as you're going through, if someone has a problem with something that you are unfamiliar with, there's really two things that you need to know. One, as lipos are supposed to be carried on, and two, whatever you're bringing on, which is typically less than 40 batteries, is legal. Uh, and they're not going to have any issues with you. Thank you guys very much. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Yes. We're going to try to do some more things like this. Now, so. this was a viewer request. So if you guys got any more requests like this, then put them in the comments. We're learning from you just as much as you're learning from us. So whatever you guys want to understand and we can help, then yeah. yeah. So like it. Subscribe it. And share. And then cheese it. Mm. Let's get out of here. See you guys. We learned how to take our things on planes. Stop doing TV. <laughs> what? <laughs> Thank you so much for subscribing. <laughs> what? No, it's just... Um, okay, so... <clears throat>